What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Monkey. That's much better. Alright, and today I've got the Naruto and Naruto Shippuden set from the Naruto Boruto card game Naruto Next Generation. Oh, man, I've said that so many times already. <laughs> Alright, let me just adjust the camera and we'll. We'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, so I... I'll be honest. I've watched the anime like... Maybe... The first five episodes. So I'm not a huge fan of the anime. Yet. Um, because I'm still watching it, you know. I just... There's just many other things out there to watch. But, um reason why I'm doing this is because I actually like the card game I learned how to play um, it's very easy you can learn in five minutes um, the only hard part is memorizing the icons or the symbols for what the abilities are that's the only hard part other than that the game's really simple the box is hard to open uh, this is a horrible angle. Much better. Alright, so, I don't know what this is. Nice, nice little poster. Um, you hang it on your wall, give it a friend, throw it away, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's open this up and see what's inside. So, there's not really booster packs for this one, um, but something better is it comes with so many manuals. We got French, Portuguese, we got Espanol, we got English, that, I'm gonna need that because I think I read that, probably. Um, Mom, do I read English? Ah, I don't think I read English. I think it's Dutch, um, and this is Italiana, and this is a playmat. Not too bad, a nice little piece of paper. You could, it's a good way to learn. Um, like I said, it's really easy. You can learn in five minutes. Five minutes. And this is a second playmat. So, what's unique about this game is it has a Chrono Clash system. What's the Chrono Clash system? Good question. I don't even know. Just kidding. Okay, the Chrono Clash system, that's pretty much, um, if you ever played White Shorts, if you ever played White Shorts, um, it's pretty much, uh, they're bringing out a Godzilla card game. Yes, Godzilla card game. Um, they're gonna bring that out uh, and it's actually gonna pair up with this game where you could actually play with it um, You could have Naruto versus Godzilla You could have Godzilla fight against Sasuke You could have Godzilla fight with Godzilla You could have uh, Whatever else they're gonna add later on um that's what the Chrono Clash system is. Pretty much, they're gonna put the card games to play with each other. Um, I don't think they're ever gonna do Dragon Ball Super because that card game is already standing alone. Very, very good. Uh, if you don't know this, uh, I actually play and I have a YouTube channel where I do open uh, some Dragon Ball stuff. So if you guys like, uh, just uh, uh, go to my channel. It's uh, TK3Monkey and you're already on it. And then, uh, basically, okay, enough playing around. Uh, this is two decks. Where it ends and where it begins, I think is right here. I might be wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong, I went a little overboard. All right, yeah. So, yeah, there we go. So basically, this is a time counter, not too shabby. And then these are the icons I was telling you about. Um, this is pretty much a 
cheat, cheat sheet of it, you know, very simple. Uh, if you want to get a little more into it, uh, then you could read the actual manual. Um, I don't know how to read personally, so. <laughs> Alright, so this is, uh, this is the first deck. This is, um, this is a green blue and this is the Naruto one. And if you see, there's not really many words on abilities. Like I said, it's all icons. So, uh, it's really easy to learn. Five minutes. The, whole, the only thing is memorizing everything. Uh, pretty cool. If you guys want, I can teach you guys how to play. Um, I'll probably... Is that a scratch? No, that's part of the card. Because he's scratching. I just saw that underneath <laughs> um you guys want i could teach you guys how to play on a different video where i actually have the decks already made um because these they, they're already pre-constructed like this but uh basically it's a 50 card deck uh you could only have two colors uh this is the green purple one i think this is a naruto one and then the other one was the naruto shippuden or um naruto naruto um yeah, and then this is players two. So this is the main way. It's, I guess it'd be considered mana. Basically, uh, what it is is a quick way is it'll start off at zero, and then whoever goes first, let's say I go first with this deck, and right off the bat, I would play this Naruto for seven cost. That's his cost. Seven cost. And then that's all I could do and automatically it'll go from zero to seven for my opponent and then that's pretty much when my opponent plays if he plays a, or she plays a three cost so it's gonna go from seven down over here and then um, basically it you're gonna keep playing if you would play the 10 drop it's gonna pretty much bring um, wherever you're at if you're right here right there it's gonna bring down to the opponents on this side <laughs> uh, that's gonna be their energy cost and then uh, that's I if, if you <laughs> if I explain that right um, I'm just trying to get in quick detail but I kind of was going a little overboard but if I did it uh, if you guys want I can teach you guys how to play uh, it's really five minutes I'll create a video up uh, comment down below if you want and yeah this is just a sideboard for both decks and then these are cool for oh that's really glued in there <laughs> we got the EX cards it extra cards these are humongous I think they're the same size as the Transformers yes they are same size as the Transformers card cool so if it wasn't, if you were already playing Transformers, and you already found it inconvenient enough <laughs> to carry around the jumbo uh, character cards, well, guess what? We got more jumbo character cards for another game. And then basically, uh, same thing. This one is gonna go for the the green blue, uh, the green blue deck, and this is the red purple. I uh, they do uh, they do actually make them smaller. Where they come in these tournament packs, but the downside is you actually have to have um, how many is it? So yeah, it's uh, six. So you have six in your uh, extra deck, but if you have a small one that you pull from the tournament pack, let's just say uh, this guy, um, you actually have to have all of them the same size. They can't. You can't have a small one and a big one because then uh, be cheating because you have to shuffle this deck as well um, and then the, pretty much these big guys how you play them is you have to have you have to sacrifice one of your battle cards for uh, the same cost or more and it could be multiple so if you have a two and two you could do that as well uh, kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh and these guys are pretty cool um, a lot of them they have some good abilities some of them have double strike. I don't think it's called double strike on this. Um, yeah, but that's pretty cool. And here we go. 
the best of the best. We got the tournament packs. Let's hope we get some extra cards because these are the only way right now where you're gonna get foil cards. Because if you didn't notice already, the whole deck is not foil. So this is just pretty much uh, introducing the Chrono Clash system. Um, they didn't make any booster packs for this besides the tournament packs. They didn't make any booster uh, boxes, nothing like that. Uh, I didn't get any X card because it'd be a blue back. That's a bummer, but we still got a foil card. What's his name? Jugo? Hugo? Lugo? I, like I said, uh, I'm probably gonna say a lot of these names wrong. That's why I'm trying to avoid saying most of them. Uh, cause I, like I said, I watched like five episodes. Uh, definitely. I, I was enjoying it, but I got sidetracked. And another one, not an EX card, but still cool. Her name is Ino Yama Yamanaka. Or Ino Yamanaka. There we go. Alright. Yeah, forgive my forgive my uh, pronunciation uh, like I said uh, but yeah uh, definitely if you guys like I said if you want me to show you how to play and you're interested I'll create a video I'll, I'll get uh, somebody I'll try to even get Ethan to help me help you learn how to play if it's okay with uh, Mr. Hard Collector but yeah uh, not too bad um, like I said, it's a very fun game. You can learn it in five minutes, but the whole, the whole icons um, for the abilities and whatnot, they're a little confusing. Uh, well, not confusing. It's just you gotta have a good memory for them. Eventually, I guess if you end up playing a lot, you'll just memorize them. But yeah, I can't wait till we get some Godzilla stuff. Throw Godzilla in with my Sasuke, and we're all set. <laughs> But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, I know it's a different video, but you know, it's Bandai. I like Bandai, they made Dragon Ball. Um, yeah, but thanks so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely comment if you want to, if you're interested in learning how to play, I'll teach you. It's so simple. It's five minutes, but the video will probably be like 30 minutes, maybe less, like five hours. But thanks so much for watching. Um, yeah, stay awesome. Monkey out. Bye.